Greeting to all our honor guests. Welcome to the Taiwan Excellence Smart Upgrade with AI webinar. I'm the host for today's event. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic has taken the way our world operates and flipped it on its hand. Advancement in digitization, interconnectivity, and smart technologies have become the main trends of global enterprises. These changes are all aimed at allowing global operations to avoid the limits of both manpower and transportation. Enterprises are doing more than maintaining smooth operations. They are turning a crisis into an opportunity to further advance their respective industries. AI solutions are gradually finding applications in fields such as smart manufacturing, smart medicine, and remote interpretation. During this webinar, there will be six of Taiwan's top brands displaying their newest products and sharing about AI solutions. They hope to seize this opportunity to share the soft power of the tech industry in Taiwan. The Bureau of Foreign Trade Ministry of Economic Affairs works with the Taiwan External Trade Development Council, encouraging Taiwan excellence, information and communication technology companies to keep on research, development and innovation. It utilized online events to provide exposure to companies, matching and acquiring business opportunities. This year, we have the honor of collaborating with Information Service Industry Association of ROC, known as CISA, to hold this webinar. First, we would like to invite the chairman of CISA, Brian Shen, to speak for us today. Good afternoon to all of our vendors, the international press, buyers, and the industry leaders. I'd like to welcome you to this international press conference. COVID-19 has been affecting the entire global community since the end of the 2019. Since May of this year, Taiwan has raised its COVID alert to level three, so people are being advised to stay home. Now, more digital solutions are being widely used in terms of pandemic prevention measures, we have the QR code and the SMS service. We also have Taiwan social distancing app. In terms of economic activities, corporations have entire spread layer on-site staff so that the tech terms come into the office or have shifted to working from home. In terms of our daily lives, the need for online shopping and the delivery services has greatly increased. COVID-19 has sped up the digital transformation process. As Cho Jia said, never let the good crisis go to waste. Dangers and opportunities usually go hand in hand. By speeding up digital transformation, Corporations can then grow and make profits. CISA represents the software industry in Taiwan. We hosted the 2021 Digital Application Forum from September 28th to October 1st. Leaders from government, enterprises, and institutions have gathered to provide ICT trends and hope to promote digital transformation and the B2B opportunities. Today, we are honored to work with Tetra to provide Taiwan's ICT industry with global B2B platform. We invite AI solutions providers to present their products and their services. CISA is working closely with international associations. We look forward to exporting Taiwan excellent ICT solutions and working together with everyone to develop business opportunities. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Hope you were able to take something away from today's press conference. I wish you greater health and success. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. To assist Taiwanese companies expanding global market, 
the Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs, and the Taiwan External Trade Development Council are the driving forces. Next, we would like to invite Deputy Director General, Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Guan Zhi Li, to share some words with everyone. Good afternoon. On behalf of Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Taiwan, I welcome everyone to today's webinar. Digitalization and 5G network applications nowadays have accelerated the progress of AI and IoT technologies. The global AI market is estimated to grow at a compound annual growth rate of almost 21% between 2021 to 2025, with a value amounting to approximately 76 billion US dollars. In global AI industrial trends, Taiwan government launched the Taiwan AI Action Plan years ago, aiming to develop smart technologies and utilize Taiwan's prominent information technologies and the semiconductor industry to develop AI technologies and facilitate the industrial upgrade and the transformation. Government's open data policy also forced a very competitive age in developing machine learning and vision natural language processing, and other key AI fields. Ministry of Economic Affairs Taiwan assists business in undertaking digitalization and promoting excellent Taiwanese brands and products. And also, Taiwan Excellence Award honors Taiwan's most innovative products every year. Products carrying this symbol have been selected based on their excellent performance in R&D design quality, and also marketing. Therefore, we are hosting this webinar to showcase Taiwan's innovative AI technologies and the solutions as presented by Acer Medical, AI3, AVA, FETCI, IMATEC, and the We Advance, which have applied AI in the healthcare, manufacturing, and the remote education sectors. This company, they are one of the best practice of Taiwan excellence. Among the brands, the FETCI provides the electronic toll collection solution, which collects tolls on national freeways in Taiwan electronically. By applying AI technologies, its accuracy rate exceeds 99.99%. Also, Asa Medical and IMATEC have used AI technologies in healthcare and also in the detection of the symptoms and the accidents. Through this webinar, we are sharing Taiwan's excellent AI technologies, solutions, success applications in different fields and the different applications. We want to communicate and cooperate with our like-minded business partners around the world in order to make comprehensive, smarter, and a better lifestyle a reality. To conclude, I would like to express my gratitude to all participants today for joining us. I trust today's event will provide you with more insights and foresight and also valuable information. Bureau of Foreign Trade Taiwan and the Taiwan External Trade Development Council are always here, ready to help you connect with Taiwanese excellent companies. Thank you. The endurance of Taiwan soft power implementing emerging technologies provides smart upgrades to industries and achieves the milestone that is digital transformation. These monumental changes provide companies with a smarter, more convenient environment and work style. During this difficult year, today's webinar features six companies. They are key industrial players. We like to begin by inviting everyone to take a look at an AI-assisted diagnostic software for diabetic retinopathy promoted by Acer Medical. When doctors are screaming patients, the program immediately knows the risks of lesions and assists with giving a diagnosis. Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Acer Medical. Today I'd like to show you how we co-work with the Medical Center in Taiwan on a digital transformation project. May angels never weep tears of sorrow again. 
A medical diagnosis for the window to the soul requires treatment with a more modern approach. An AI-assisted diagnosis can provide an effective solution to this impending crisis. Around the world, healthcare providers are facing unprecedented pressure with aging populations, increased prevalence of chronic diseases, and expectations to deliver more personalized and convenient services to more patients. Many clinicians are struggling with increasing workloads, which inevitably leads to compromised care to patients. Here, we will take you through a journey of how Acer Medical co-worked with the medical center step-by-step step to break the barrier between technology and medicine and transform from a traditional to a smart health organization by leveraging artificial intelligence, or AI. As part of diabetes management, annual eye exams called DR screenings are suggested for diabetes patients to prevent diabetic retinopathy, or DR, an eye complication caused by high blood sugar levels. Since DR is a complication of the eye, traditionally DR screenings often require the involvement of eye specialists to interpret the eye images and make accurate diagnosis. With over 400 million diabetic patients around the world, there's simply not enough eye specialists to conduct annual DR screenings. Our medical center client in Taiwan, Taichung Veterans General Hospital, was facing such challenges when we first met. At our hospital, endocrinologists are responsible for grading the fundus image for diabetes patients. With around 1,500 images per month, we are seeking a solution that can help us provide preliminary reports to patients right after their images are taken. And we hope to achieve better agreement with our somatologist. As the first step of the project, we work with frontline healthcare professionals across multiple divisions to map out the original patient journey. When a diabetic patient needs a DR screening, a diabetes educator first takes an eye image called the color fundus image for the patient. Without any mechanism to check the image quality, the patient then goes home and the image is left in a huge pile of cases waiting to be graded. The patients will not receive the results until they return for their regular diabetes appointment three months later. After mapping out the patient journey and understanding the pain points, we then worked with the Medical Center's IT Department, Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism, and the Department of Ophthalmology to introduce VeriCDR, our AI-driven diagnostic software for DR. VeriCDR utilizes AI to analyze diabetic patients' eye images and outputs a referral recommendation on whether the patient should be referred to an ophthalmologist for further care within three to five seconds. Its accuracy of 93% is comparable to ophthalmologists, and VeriCDR has obtained regulatory approvals from various regulatory agencies, including Taiwan, Thailand, and Indonesia. The implementation of VeriCDR can support the frontline healthcare professionals in providing accurate DR diagnosis to patients in a timely manner. We listen to our clients' requests of integrating various DR results in the medical center's his and PAC systems so that the results are automatically displayed next to the eye images as well as pre-checked in the patient report forms. The architecture of the health information system HIS is very complicated and critically important to the daily operations of the medical center. The integration among information systems is very important to keep HIS work well. As a medical was very patient with us in listening to our requests, and with their expertise and co-work with our IT department, we improved the automation of medical image integration. We can rest assured that the very CDR integration will be done without any interference to our main system. Asus Medicals was willing to cooperate with us to customize the integration of very CDR into our current workflow. With very CDR, we do not need to adapt to a whole new system. It provides assistance and decreases the chance of missing details and shorten the grading process. Our agreement between ophthalmologists are also increased and it has a profound impact in our patients. As a result of this digital transformation project, the DR screening patient journey was completely reinvented. 
In the new journey, as soon as the images are taken, VeriCD are spilled in image quality check function ensures that the images are readable by doctors. The automatic display of results from VeriCD are alongside the eye images assists diabetes specialists in making diagnosis and reduces the time it takes to interpret each image to less than one minute, a 60 to 80 percent reduction. Rather than spending time on interpreting images, doctors now have more time for patients. As a result, doctors can screen more patients and provide better care for each patient. Finally, inspired by the implementation of VeriCDR, our client further established a FastPass referral system between the Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism and the Department of Ophthalmology. This allows patients to receive treatments in a timely fashion, and our client can retain patients within the medical center and ensure comprehensive care to patients from diabetes management to complications of the eyes. With the advancement of digital health, our medical centers are trying to transfer to smart hospitals. VeriCDI is our first and successful project of really implementing AI into the clinical practice. The impact it brings doesn't just stay within the division of endocrinology and the metabolism. We already extend our experience to improve the overall area of the medical center. We aim to become the pioneer and the leader in smart healthcare in Taiwan. In this example, we see how Taichung Veterans General Hospital leveraged Acer Medical's AI solution to transform the patient journey, empower clinicians, and optimize the referral efficiency of the organization. At Acer Medical, our goal is to realize medical AI in practice, and by doing so, drive organizations to stay competitive and achieve better outcomes and experiences for both patients and providers. In addition to AI, we also provide other digital health solutions such as our Telemed suite of products for telehealth. With Telemed, healthcare professionals can stay on top of their patients' conditions whenever and wherever they are. With our expert understanding of the healthcare industry and our collaborative mindset, you can trust that we will work with you to elevate your value through our digital capabilities. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out our questionnaire. The second enterprise we'd like to share with you is AI3. They have created QB AI Cloud, which is the first step in the digital transformation of enterprises. It can simultaneously increase satisfaction inside and outside a company. Artificial Intelligence Era even in the middle of the night, the merchant's cash register can still jingle continuously. Social media era. Communication between people depends on the help of technology and media. Business communication is the same. The warmth of humans and the instantaneous effectiveness of artificial intelligence. Double the efficiency of business communication.目前整个应用里面来看，大概有三个领域啊，一个就是电脑视觉，我们讲computer 人工智能公司我们主要用AI技术是用自然语言处理的技术 系统化放到服务机器人里面去，所以服务器人在跟客户开始做互动的时候呢，我就可以了解他的需求，而进而给他答案。
。那我也可以透过后台的分析呢，来知道说哪些的服务是客户需要，我服务就还不具备，我就可以再重新训练。所以这个整个过程就会让客户整个体验会提升，因为服务机器人它二小时可以服务。所以，如果机器人他觉得他不能回答的好的话，他无法转去他的真人。所以，真人在跟机器人做协作，那这样子对客户来讲，他不管是机器人答还是真人答，都可以得到完整满意的服务。这我就叫做它是一个可靠的服务模型。当然，百货公司终归不能去了，那他他的收成就出问题了。所以，我们就运用机器人，让客户跟机器人在做互动，去了解他的需求，然后再把他的。服务引到跟真人做互动，或引到网络上做导购，那这个我们就把它叫做线上柜姐。那你可以想象，在你不能到实体的服务里面去买你的服务的时候，你在网络上一样可以得到这些服务。嗯、如果是中老企业数位转型。它不一定要从转型去改变，而应该是从它的让它的服务或它的系统能够数位化，跟做数位优化。那可以告诉他，你可以用一些云端平台来优化你的工作效率或提升客户体验。那像我们把它变成一个云端平台，就是我们 solution 变就是 Q B Air Cloud， 它这云端平台可以透过订阅的方法，就可以让中小企业。每月花几千块，他其实就开始拥有机器人，或拥有客户多通路的客户服务的互动。那这样子就可以跟客户在这种疫情之下呢，可以在非接触之下跟客户继续互动，继续可以做他的商业推广或行销的活动。那我觉得这样子都可以帮助到这些企业，能够在这样疫情情况下继续完成他的生意，或是未来来讲，他其实就是在数位环境下做生意啊。因为科技变化实在太快，人的行为也都改变了，所以你服务。不能从科技角度来看，所以说，如果我们要谈服务，那应该我们要从思维开始谈。我们有服务的思维，再来找适当科技来实现。那服务的思维是什么呢？我很简单讲，服务是里面包包含的六个话，六话里面有三个话是面对客户，是什么？就是服务你要行动化，流程要智慧化，你的进度要透明化，作业自动化。透过作业自动化来支持服务的智慧化，然后你的预算要有算化，把钱花到刀口上去，然后你的决策必须数据化。透过这分析，你就可以回馈知道说，哦，我的服务哪里做不好，我的产品哪里是客户觉得不满意的，或是了解客户的需求，我来修正我的产品，就变成一个良性的循环。所以我从这里来看，这就是服务四点零的一个内涵。Customer service is instant, can effectively solve customer problems. Artificial intelligence does not need to rest. Standby, service in place, greatly enhance the brand image. We put our robot machine. I start to expand to South Asian languages, like Vietnamese, Philippines, Philippine, Indonesian, these languages. I start to put it in. After it, I hope that in the future. 在推广中也会比较方便。那我在推广国际上，大概我有三个策略了哈。第一个策略就是，我们台湾有很多的国际化的公司，所以我们除了帮他在台湾做服务之外，也协助他在海外做服务。所以对我来讲，就在累积海服务海外的经验。第二个呢，我们跟我们的合作厂商合作。其实如果从 call center 像这种服务来看，其实台湾的通讯厂商在这方面琢磨蛮多的。尤其在台湾做做，他们也到东南亚去，所以可以透过这些管道跟他们合作。如果我们在国内能够服务大量国际诶中小企业客户的话，我们的国际化就更有机会。我们学习更多的经验，把产品做得更好。制造商品，比如说一个山西制造商，他是不是会做很多商品？但是山西制造商大进制造出来的量，大部分都销到全世界去。那过往他们商业模式都是。我做生产完了之后呢，我就透过通路经销商把它卖到客户去，因为它是全球，所以它卖出去之后，它的销售跟服务都经销商帮他做完了。现在过往开发十个商品，可以有三个、有七个商品会热卖，现在不是啊，现在商品竞争很大，所以他更迫切需要知道那客户到底在想什么，客户对我的产品满意是什么
不满意是什么？期望是什么？那这些事情在原来传统的方法都没办法得到，因为他根本不知道卖到哪里去的。所以后来这这个企业就跟我讨论之后，我我觉得我们可以从售后服务开始，这也是一个未来一个方向。就我是制造一制造商，我一样制造商品，我可以透过 channel 管道跟经销商把它卖给使用者，但是服务最终服务就我直接来做。所以客户拿到这产品，他使用上如果有任何问题，他回到回到原厂来，原厂就知道我的产品有哪些优点、缺点，或客户的期望、需求，我就可以做改善。那变成他开发一个产品很好的循环。Wisdom drives new changes in global services. Is your business ready to board this ship? With the assistance of artificial intelligence. Doing business is not restricted by time and space. Satisfied and assured customers. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out our questionnaire. Next, we like to introduce Aver Information. Aver offers schools with the flexibility to create customized teaching and learning solutions and smart industry solutions. They aim to make what is the new normal of remote learning and classroom work through the cloud to eliminate distance. When the sounds of working in class have to come through a screen and across the internet, using this eye to understand how the world revolves becomes the new normal. A warm hello and welcome from Aver. This is Kiki, and today I'm going to present you a distance learning tracking camera, DL30 from Aver. Now this differs from tracking that relies on the skills and experience of a pro photographer to capture every amazing shot. Aver DL30 distance learning tracking camera uses superior technology to be the best tool for online learning. So when it comes to a camera for distance learning or hybrid learning, why DL30? I've got three reasons for you. First, it has 12 times optical zoom. What does that mean? So if we look at a typical K-12 classroom, it usually varies from 8 to 10 meters long. But if you have a 12 times optical zoom camera, you can set up the camera at the back of the room as far as 28 meters, and the camera can still capture your contents clearly, so your student online will never lose that. On the contrary, if you're using a webcam, but you still want to do the same thing, what you need to do is to move the webcam manually to the position you want. And I promise you do not want that because when you teach online or hybrid, you already juggled a lot. I'm sure that you do not want to take extra effort to manipulate a camera on your own. So first and foremost, make sure the optical zoom of your camera is good enough to capture the content. Second, DL30 is an AI auto tracking camera. And I'm telling you this is a game changer because it tracks the teacher around the classroom even when the teacher walks towards the student and interact. There's no lanyard, no IR, no cameraman needed. And the tracking just simply works. And tracking even works when you walk on the board or wearing a face mask. To make the teacher experience even better, I'm suggesting you the hybrid mode or we say hybrid tracking. So this is the function when you want the camera to focus on specific area, let's say these two areas. Probably there is a graph or you know your, your writing. 
you want the camera to zoom in so your student can see clearly that means the content is more important so you can set these two areas as your zone tracking area but when you walk beside these two area you still want the camera to track you freely as you speak so this in this case it used the present tracking so with the hybrid mode it switch seamlessly between the zone tracking and present tracking DL30 is already being put to use in many schools. In a music class at Taipei's Sanyu Elementary, regardless if the teacher is in front of the piano, moving to the whiteboard, or walking around the classroom, the camera will follow them closely without missing a beat. But there's no reason to worry about invading a teacher's privacy because the distance learning tracking camera was designed with care and consideration for people's needs. Last but not least, I know you may wonder, oh, this is a tracking camera. So does that track you all the time? What about me finish my class? Does it still capture the class of my student? Well, we hear you and we understand you. Of course, you can turn off the camera by using just a one button on the remote control. But what if you do not want to touch it? Or you may just forget it because you're running to your next lesson. In this case, you may use the sleep mode. For example, when you finish your online teaching, let's say on Microsoft Teams, you may just turn off your camera view or you know, close the laptop. You may just leave, right? Well, if you want to turn off the camera, you may just use the remote control. But what if you do not want to touch the remote control or you just forget it? With the sleep mode, the camera will automatically go to down 90 degree, go to the sleep mode. And when the next class starts and another teacher turn on the Microsoft Teams again, the camera will waken up and use the tracking again. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my class. Let me show you how to use the sleep mode. All right, bye-bye guys. So now what I need to do is just close the app and you can just leave your office. You see, all the design is water free and automatically. So as a teacher, we want to ensure you just focus on your teaching like you always do. So what do you think? Ready to rock your teaching with Aver DL30? I hope you are. This is Kiki, I'm from Aver. I'm the product manager of DL30. I hope to see you soon. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out our questionnaire. The fourth company we would like to introduce to you is FETCI. FETCI's AI AMPR solution applies AI technology and machine learning. Their designs are focused particularly on the high function needs for tour collection and smart shipping industries. Traffic flows smoothly on Taiwan's highways. The key to smooth flow is in core technology. The key to transform from a traditional approach to a modern one is to increase efficiency and connect to the pulse of the economy. Traffic allows life to move, and it requires accurate identification technology to move even smoothly. Taiwan has to achieve this. It is our hope to share this strength with more countries. Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, the sales manager of FETCI. This is our service center and would like to share some experiences with you. 
Our partner is a Thailand-based sister integrator, providing IT services to tough firms, state enterprises, and government agencies. It's contracted with a project to implement all electronic toll payment system by Ministry of Transportation to provide a convenient, modern, and contactless toll payment system, so-called M-Floor, on motorway number nine, the limited access motorway linking the outer fringes of Greater Bangkok. In order to transfer the toll payment system from barrier-based to all-electronic toll payment system, our client is requested to achieve such a high service level, such as vehicle detection rate to 98% and license plate recognition accuracy rate to 95% and further prevent revenue leakage. That means for each trip, the right vehicle registration license number is charged with the right amount. And floor cleans to allow road users to pass through a toll point with a speed up to 160 km per hour. Vehicles need to be identified and to be charged after using the service. It's first time for Thailand to implement this new generation of toll payment system. Our client has no experiences in the past operating such system. However, to achieve such high service level and to make sure government can reach a low battery rate, our client requires a seasoned tolling expert to join this project for immediate pilot as benchmark. In Taiwan, highways have utilized RFID technology for several years with smooth implementation. RFID has solved traffic issues at toll booths that are caused by having people collecting tolls. The original technology has been developed to the point that vehicles traveling 180 km per hour can be detected and have their toll deducted. With newly added AI identification technology, this service has evolved so that even more people can enjoy a convenient lifestyle. FETC International offers a state of AI NPR alongside with high performance roadside equipment and image management system to detect and identify license plate. Combined with AI AVC system, the solution can detect and identify the image of a license plate, digitize license plate information, and identify vehicle brand as well as vehicle color to retrieve the most accurate information. Best in Asia, FETC International has a huge high language and the alphabet data set to decrease the in license plate information. Moreover, with 20 years DApp experience in tolling system, FETC International has one of the kind mediation device that can automatically recognize questionable data for manual validation to handle the most difficult situation, including vehicle cross land our license plate inverting, counterfeit, our transformer issue. FETC International Mediation Device can reduce manpower for manual validation and increase accuracy rate of tolling system. In any project, mediation device help the customer reduce up to 90% manpower and a lower process overload in manual validation. With what recorded Martin Free for implementation and operation in Taiwan, FETC International is a real end-to-end -end tolling system expert. They can help deploy a complete system architecture to maximize resource utilization and customer investment 
on hardware and the software. And it's a scalable and uh, compatible to FID system for future expansion. The complete AIV code regression suite can deliver KPI higher than customers' request with over 99% vehicle detection rate and a 98% license plate regression accuracy rate. It can not only deploy in high check volume area such as highways, our express ways for road user charging, but can apply in low traffic value, including um, shopping mall, our roadside parking, our residential area access control. It's now implemented in Taiwan for green zone management and the traffic control. It can help reduce carbon footprints, avoid cross contact, and increase operation infections. For more information, please check out our official website, www.fetci.com, or follow us on LinkedIn at FETC International. Once again, if you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out the online questionnaire. Next, I want to introduce iMeTech. The newest care system known as IME ITRS is a time of flight eagle eye recognition system. It can improve the work efficiency of nursing personnel, thus solving issues of a reduced depth during night shifts. Welcome to IME Tech. Take a look around our office. E-health takes the healthcare industry to new heights. Just like how walking up a hill, past terrace, after terrace, allows you to see an entirely different view. E-health brings a greater degree of gentleness to medical care. There's a greater level of dignity. It can enhance the effect of clinical medical care and heighten the industry's efficiency. It changes the communication between doctors, nurses, and patients iMedTech focuses on developing e-health to inject renewed vitality into the health industry. At iMedTech, we transform healthcare through AIoT by combining our team's in-depth knowledge of hospital and care facilities needs and years of experience with AIoT and system integration. Today, we'd like to introduce our care recipient monitoring solution. Please enjoy a quick introduction video of the product. Preventing care recipients from falling is a task that requires significant manpower for medical care. By adopting a smart AI monitoring system, we can reduce the chances of such incidents occurring and boost the work efficiency of nursing personnel. As I mentioned, our care recipient monitoring system uses AI algorithm to analyze 3D depth images collected from the time of flight sensors to determine whether a resident is in bed, near the edge, out of bed, or has fallen. We have updated our model to adapt to some of the most common scenarios at care facilities, especially for a resident who does not have caregiver by his or her side 24-7. For example, a fall event likely occurs when a patient wakes up and suddenly feels dizzy, or a leap event would occur when a patient gets up to go to the bathroom. We have partnered with care facilities to use our care recipient monitoring solution to fulfill some of their needs. One of our clients, Lily Group, a long-term dementia care facility in Elon, they want a solution to remotely monitor their residents' status and be alarmed when assistance is needed, such as a fall or leap event in the middle of the night. 
They also want to better understand the residents' daily routine to provide them more personalized care and update their families. Let's take a look at some interesting cases. This is a compilation of activity graphs of an elderly resident in Lili over three days' time. Each dot represents one of the four statuses. As you can see here, that this elderly's da daily routine is relatively regular, meaning leaving and returning to bed at consistent times. However, this elder's sleep patterns are somewhat short as she consistently gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Since this elderly takes sleeping eight pills before bed, she could be more prone to losing balance or knee assistance when she gets up in the middle of the night. So the caretakers find our system valuable as it alerts them this elderly has left bed for more than five minutes. You can also see that she gets up at 4 or 5 a.m. and returns to bed for some rest at around 8 a.m. Last but not least, she actively participates in activities planned by Lily in the afternoon, such as picking vegetables, watching TV, or singing karaoke in the living room, and only returns to bed for rest at around 6 p.m. On the other hand, if we place resident A's activity graph next to resident B's activity graph, you can easily identify that resident B's activity level is relatively lower than resident A's. You can see this by the low number of leave bed statuses in orange in resident B's activity chart. Caretakers can use the daily living charts to monitor any changes in residents' routine, allowing them to provide assistance as soon as possible. By leveraging AIoT, our care recipient monitoring solution was able to improve residents' living experience after having more insights into their daily routine, as well as providing care recipients' family members a peace of mind when away from their loved ones. Last but not least, it increased residents' safety by being able to alarm caretakers if any resident requires urgent assistance. Care recipient monitors the daily routines of residents, thus improving the efficiency of the nursing staff's care. It allows care recipients to receive better medical care and bring greater dignity to their lives. We hope you enjoyed learning about our care recipient monitoring solution. Reach out to us at sales.amatac.com for any additional questions. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out the online questionnaire. Finally, the sixth company is We Advance, which supplies a one-stop service from smart manufacturing applications to the planning, deployment, and maintenance of fundamental 5G structures. Hi everyone, I'm Kay from We Advance Technology. Today, this is my pleasure to share a remarkable practice about how we implement smart manufacturing on 5G private networks. Ride the wind, the world overlooked through the clouds. A higher sense of beauty, as we advanced technology provides one-stop solution for Industry 4.0 applications and 5G Enterprise private networks use cloud technology, bring a more efficient experience to the enterprise. We Advanced Technology is a subsidiary of Wisdom Group. We are a premium Microsoft Azure partner and a licensing solution partner, focusing on providing cloud services such as consulting, migration, and the next generation management services. Thanks for being part of Wisdom Group. We have rich experience and understanding in the manufacturing field. This helped us to better offer smart manufacturing solutions from the user point of view. We believe cloud, AI, and data, these three aspects will be the key success factor to the manufacturing digital transformation. Our next step is to provide our customer with vertical SaaS solutions, which suit various industries and operational scenarios. 5G private networks are expected to be the critical enabler of the future factories. We combine Wistron and Zhonghua Telecom competencies to deliver end-to-end -end services. Our customer could embrace 5G applications while this one-stop shopping. Well, we're thinking about how 5G can bring 
哦，给企业带来什么样的一个解决方案？在过去，我们在在生产制造用的比较多是 WiFi 及实体线。过去呢 ，WiFi 时常会有网络干扰的问题，那实体网路线呢，常常就有布线哦时程长的问题。那第二个呢，我们在在做所谓大数据分析的时候啊，时常会有所谓数据，所谓我们三个 V 啊，哦，就是所谓的多样化。哦，大量以及要速度快，刚好五 G 的特性啊，刚好符合所谓的高低大哦这一方面的特性，所以我们想说五 G 是不是能够解决大数据的问题？那第三个应该是最重要的问题，就是说我们在今年年初哦获得的那个珠北国际 AI 智慧园区地上全案，那我们希望在全场域啊都能够五 G 化，让这个五 G 的应用啊能够得到发展。那在这之前，我们当然就必须要有一个验证，说在这里面的资讯安全哦，资讯的一些流动、硬体架构、软体搭配等等。那我们就希望透过这一个方式啊，来导入整个五 G 企业专网的整体的应用及学习。Rebrain Cloud Technology. System integration and manufacturing vertical know-how together as one to upgrade our customers' factory to the next level. Modern, innovative, and productive. Briefly speaking, under this tripartite teamwork, Zhonghua Telecom Super 5G Technologies, with Zhong provide their manufacturing field, we advance fast in cloud AI and data applications into this hybrid cloud 5G environment. Our customer could reshape and rebuild their competitive advantage by expanding the coverage and the complexity of future smart manufacturing and automated services through this practice. 我们针对五 G 实作的项目呢，其实我们已经规划了大概一个短中长期的一个三年计划。哦，大概涵盖了人机调法五大面向，哦，然后二十八个用力。那最最接近的短期的部分呢，我们叫我们叫做五 G 六 A 方案。哦，所谓六 A 就包括说，就是原来所谓的 AR 的眼镜的部分。另外第二个就是所谓的 AGV， 还有 AMR。哦，然后再来就是所所谓的 AOI， 就是光自动光学检验的部分。然后再来就是 AI Motion， 就是动用 AI 来做动作分析。再来就是 A I O T， 如何串接设备这些机台。在疫情期间，我们刚好要有一些设备的一些装机的部分。那我们就想到说，之前有做过所谓的 A R P O C 的一些专案，利用这个 A R 远程专家的方式，我们产品在这个过程里面有一些问题 ，R M D 啊也没办法进到工厂里面来。哦，所以我们也是透过这个 A R 眼镜啊，哦，然后双方如何都可以看到这个实体，哎，针对这个现象量测能够。得到一些回馈。微松新竹 factories had three short-term target applications: one, human factor engineering AI analysis; two, remote AR assistance and the AMR AGV logistic platform. We tested three applications in 4G and the Wi-Fi environment and still found latency problem. Therefore, we took good advantage of 5G features. Including high bandwidth and low latency to transmit live, high-definition image in real time for analysis and tracking purpose. On the production line, the operator's assembly action and movement will be digitalized and calculated by the smart human factor AI image analysis. The field condition will be feedback to the line manager in real time. Therefore, the production line manager could take corrective action from daily, weekly to even hourly. Furthermore, experts from different sites could co-work together remotely and seamlessly through the live video streaming and the rendering overlay 3D images. In the next phase, we advance will continue to help Withdrawn implement more applications on the 5G private networks, such as AI defect detection, AI assembly line balance, manufacturing process auditor, and mixed reality. We have strong faith on that. The factory will see significant value and the contribution of these applications with 5G private networks. From infrastructure planning, deployment, and maintenance, we advance provide total solution to drive 5G-based end-to-end -end applications. 
We are not only a SI, but also a cloud and a vertical service provider to support manufacturing customers' digital transformation. 5G powered applications on private networks are shaping the future of the large scale enterprise. We Advance can play the bridge role between the IT and OT. We will continue to work closely with Zhonghua Telecom and the Wisdom Group to spread these innovative 5G applications to overseas. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out the online questionnaire. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. This concludes the Taiwan Excellence Smart Upgrade with AI webinar. Taiwan Excellence will keep encouraging Taiwanese companies to keep on research, development, and innovation. We look forward to receiving your feedback. If you have any inquiry, feel free to fill out the online questionnaire. Thank you. In the face of a worldwide pandemic, Taiwan has actively lent a helping hand to the world. Taiwan Global Anti-COVID-19 Pavilion. In this website, we've created an anti-epidemic products and solution providers section, where you can find information about suppliers or any particular business solutions. This section will help you reach out to more than 2,000 Taiwanese companies who can aid in your fight against the pandemic. In these videos, companies and experts discuss the latest innovations to help combat the pandemic. In this section, we've put at your disposal the contact information of 20 Taiwanese top medical institutions. We also inform you about the main strategies used in Taiwan to effectively control and stop the spread of the virus. So please be sure to bookmark and share this website and remember to follow us on Facebook for our latest updates.